In a new interview with Vogue, Cynthia Nixon is responding to criticism of the Sex in the City revival and Just Like That, which includes Candace Bushnell, the author who wrote the original Sex in the City, which the original show was based on. Candace told The New Yorker, I'm really startled by a lot of the decisions made in the reboot. You know, it's a television product done with Michael Patrick King and Sarah Jessica Parker, who both worked with HBO a lot in the past. HBO decided to put this franchise back into their hands for a variety of reasons, and this is what they came up with. That's a very much like, I wash my hands of this response. <laughs> so Cynthia tells Vogue about the lead up to the revival. If I could do anything differently, I would have made sure we said to people in letters 10 feet tall, this is not sex and the city. If you're looking for sex and the city, you should watch the reruns. This is a new show for this moment and for the moment in these original characters' lives. And to that viewer response that Miranda completely changed, Cynthia says, I think that's a bizarre reaction. First of all, I think Miranda is brave. I think Miranda is charging forward. She doesn't know where she's going exactly, but she knows she has to go somewhere. I think that's always been true, Miranda, right? Miranda's very smart and she's very tenacious. But the idea that she's level-headed? She's never been level-headed. She's a loose cannon. A very opinionated loose cannon. She's always been a bull in a china shop and losing her temper and blowing things up and having to backtrack when she calms down. I feel like what Miranda does is incredibly brave. She gives up her very lucrative corporate job and goes back to try and make something more of her life. As Miranda says, we're not old, we're 55. I mean, you're certainly closer to the end than to the beginning, but if you're not happy with where you are, you still have a lot of time to make a change. And when it comes to the criticism that, and just like that, overcorrected their lack of diversity and the awareness of the New York City around them, <laughs> Cynthia says, the world is very different now. Well, New York City didn't change that much in the last five to 10 years, but okay. Not just because of COVID, not just because of Trump, not just because of Black Lives Matter, not just because of global warming. We're absolutely a comedy, but to do a lighthearted show that didn't acknowledge any of those things would have seemed incredibly tone deaf. So I'm very proud of it in that sense. It's to show women and our struggles and our dreams and our fobbles. You don't always know where you're going. Those are the people that I'm interested in, not the people who are playing it safe. Look, I didn't watch in just like that. I didn't watch Sex and the City. I saw the two movies, but I didn't watch either series, but I followed along knowing what was happening in those series. And yeah, the, the big complaint I've heard about and just like that is that it just tried to overcorrect so much in what it tried to do. I don't fault them for changing Cynthia's path in life. I mean, yeah, you have to go somewhere different if you're, if you're going to resurrect these characters and take them somewhere else. So yeah, I don't think that's a great complaint of the show, but I do get the idea that people are annoyed at what a different direction the show took, but then it's also showing how tone deaf Sex and the City was in a way. I think the big thing is that the cast of Friends is sitting back thinking, this is why you don't do a revival every show. <laughs> like people love Sex and the City for the time that it was in, People love Friends for the time that it was in, and I love Friends, but yeah, to resurrect Friends and try to do something, it would seem completely tone deaf and out of place at this point. So yeah, I know they've made a lot of money off this and just like that revival, but I don't know in terms of the legacy of Sex and the City it was a great thing to do, but yeah, what do you think of Cynthia's comments about the way that they pushed Miranda in a different direction?